Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Mama Free Budgets. I'm Jazz and we are a family of five, living in the UK, cash stuffing and budgeting our way to a better life. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you watched my cash stuffing video for this week, you will see we completed a couple of savings challenges. Um, I've put the ones that I've completed in here and the challenges will stay in there, but we're gonna unstuff the money and we are gonna distribute it where we want it to go. But before we do that, you may remember my big goals binder. Now, we have basically decided that we definitely need a bigger car um, and we would like to get a bigger car before we go away again next year. So my plan now is because my son will also be starting his GCSEs, I don't want to take him out of school during term time, which would obviously make a holiday abroad a lot cheaper. Um, so this is actually going to probably be now my, our travel one for the year after, um, along with getting married. But travel and a wedding or a holiday is basically no longer top of the priority. Um, a new car is. So before we do anything else, I will, I am going to keep my house fund going because I do slowly want to decorate the house. We've been here four years in July and we haven't really done much at all since we moved in apart from the kids' bedrooms and having the wood burner fitted and having the roof, roof repaired. We haven't done, that's all we've done since we've been here. So I, I am keeping this one. And we're going to keep the new to us car fund. But this one for now is being unstuffed. Mortgage overpayment, I'm just going to keep trickling it along. But this one is also being unstuffed. This makes me really sad, but you know, a car's got to come first. Like, I use a car. Without a car, I'm housebound, um, essentially. I can't walk far at all. So, um, you know, and the kids are getting bigger and stuff. So a new, a new car is essential. So all the rest is being unstuffed. We will start these again probably sometime next year um, and just see how we go. But the aim is to get as much saved as possible towards a car so that I don't have to take out finance. Um, I need I need a car big enough that we can get everything, everyone in. And when we go camping, we're not going to be squished because the kids essentially end up squished. So we've got 150 so far saved for car. I will double check but I'm sure it's 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50. So we've got 150 so far and this is what we've unstuffed from travel and wedding and we'll see what we can cross off. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 50. So, 50, 1, 50, 2, 50, 3, 50. Did I count 350 guys? 24, 60, 81, 24, 60, 82, 24, 60, 83. Yeah, 350. So 
we finished a line on there by condensing um, it all into new car out of the other two. So that's amazing. Let's see if I can. This one is from Budget Lux, um, but it's actually one that Selena Miss Budgets gifted me earlier in the year, bless her. Oh, I can't colour straight. Which is really, really lovely of her. Because I didn't have a track. Oh, I've got a 100 envelope tracker. Um, but it's nice to have a nice round 5,000 one. So, we've got another 4,500. We've got 500 so far in there. Wafty, wafty for Esther. Love it. Um, so that's fab. So, let's do what everyone came for and then stuff this. So there should be 90 in this one. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. There should be a hundred in spring, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. 95 100 and there should be 130 between these two Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, one, ten, twenty, thirty. so i didn't actually write down what that totals so we'll quickly add it all up. Got 320. That is fab. So I haven't actually pre-planned where I'm going to put this. Um, what should we do? What should we do? Right. I'm going to put 100 in here, 20, 40, 60, 81, 90, 100, 50 in here in house repairs so we've got 50 we've got 100 in the moment 10 20 30 40 50 10 20 30 40 50 50 70 90 100 10 20 30 40 50 in house I'm not going to put anything in that or that or that because we're not concentrating on those at the moment um, I'm going to put 100 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 in 60. I'm going to put 60 in Christmas. So 49 and 11 make 60. Um, 
and I'm going to put 10, 20, 30, actually I'm just going to check something, right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it in here, so, which I know seems mad to just take it out of another one challenge and put it in another, but we've already got 50 in here. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that can go in there, which will give us 150. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. And we're actually going to take it back out. So Although we've put 100 in, we've technically gained £50. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put the date. Wafty wafty, Resta. And it can go in with my completed challenges. I'll probably end up doing that one again because I really like it. It's cute. Um, and then this is what I'm going to do. So four, six, seven, two fives. I'm going to put in here. Sorry, pop that in there. So it's ten pound. So that's. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wafty, wafty, Forrester. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. So I can go in there. I'm hoping this will be one of the next ones I complete. I'm aiming to put a bit more money into it. Um, so, this one, right, we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, what I'm going to do is... As I said in my previous videos, come July, out the amount of money we're going to have to stuff is going to really slow down. So let's see if we can get some of these crossed off. Right, so we're going to do 20. And I'm going to do another 20. So I'm actually going to do 19 and 1. So that's 40 so far. And 10. So I'm going to do eight and two. So that's 50 so far in stuff today in there. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'll have to put the dates on those. And then this last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Right, I'm going to get some crossed off here. So, I'm going to do 20. That doesn't even look gold, does it? 
god you can't even see it 25 30 that's awful 20 30 get another colour 40 50 <coughs> 55 60 25 30 25 30 40 50 60 10 20 30 40 50 60 and this one 20 30 40 50 60 And then 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm going to do this one again. Um, so I'm going to stick with the pink. Get my pink back out. So 20, 20, 30, 40. So I can do 36 and 4. So far in here, we've got two, four, six, seven, <clears throat> don't know how much we've got, right, let's have a look, one, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, six, eight, nine, <clears throat> and then we've got, put all this the right way. Right, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, 84 so far in here. So, that's fab. Oh, I need to put the challenge back in there. That was, this one is another one that Miss Budgets gifted me. Um... Yeah, I really, really like this one. I think because it's got smaller smaller numbers as well as bigger ones. Um, I'm going to clean that gold off and look at the mess of it. And re redo it with a different colour. Um, so I need to pick my new challenges. So we are going to do June. The two for June. I'm going to keep them in here and we've got these two so the other one I'm going to do along with it is summer because it's soon going to be summer so Those are my five for, well, until we complete another one and can swap it out. Um, I'm still trying to work out what I'm going to do June. Um, June is a good income month for us because we get an extra payment of one of our incomes um so i think i'm going to i'm going to try and put as much money as i can into sit challenges in june um because i've got my variable most of them to a pretty nice amount so june i'm going to concentrate on getting 
my variables to my goal amounts so that like I said basically what will happen is so I've got £150 in clothes and one week we spend £20. The next cash stuff in will try and basically replace what we've spent. So it always stays at the at an around about number. But if there was ever anything to happen that we needed to use the full amount of something, you know, it's there. Um, but basically everyone, everything's going to have and around about goal of how much I want in there. So June, I'm hoping to do that so that when we go back onto our normal income, because we're not going to be expecting any extra payments or anything of anything, which will be July or August. I think it's August. Um, then we can... Um, we can just concentrate on topping the variable up rather than having to stuff like a hundred pound in the variable each week. Um, so I'm going to do it that, that way. And it also means there'll be more for challenges, which will, can be distributed into other things as well. Um, so that's the plan going forward. I probably will do a whole video on what I'm going to plan to do going June onwards. This, I'll finish six or seven weeks before the end of the year. What I'm going to do after that is the little things in here, I'm literally going to turn it over or print out a new one. But I'm only going to do the seven weeks and then I'm going to unstuff it at the end of the year. Um, and it will probably go into my annuals, but nothing is nothing set in stone yet um and we will unstuff my 2024 binder at the end of the year actually i think i'm just going to unstuff everything at the end of the year and have a complete reset um like basically i'll unstuff it all then i'll do another video where i restuff it into whatever i want wherever i want it so that I can be like, right, January the 1st, this is what was in the binders. And then at the end of the year, we can say, right, this is what, you know, we've um, saved up or whatever for now. But yeah, that is my savings challenges that we had completed, restuffed. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a lovely week and I'll see you all soon. Bye.